So you take the rope and you squish it down a bit. Now see it kind of gets puffed up, kind of fattens up there. What you're doing is you're loosening the weave. Then you take just a regular piece of uh, wire and you'll just push it through. Trying to go between the, the strands of the rope. Then we'll pop out the other side. And then now you have the rope with the wire passed through. But this part's still kind of floppy. So you just take a little scrap piece of uh, whipping twine. And we just go wrapping it up nice and tight. Keep everything in its place. And you want to make sure that the end stays in between the two wires here. And then after you get to the end, you'll come off the rope and you're just going to wrap the two wires together. And then just a little half hitch, just to hold everything in place. And that's it. Now it's ready to weave through a Lumar clutch. So now we're reaving the Lumar clutch with our line that we just put this little contraption on to be able to pass it through. So the way Lumar clutches work, they call it a domino inside. So all these little blocks, uh, look at this one here, you can see they kind of line up on it. And that's, that's their big concept. You have to get it through all those little dominoes. And if you look inside, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of uh, little holes in each one. So we got a lot to pass through. And the problem is, you get it through one, and then it pushes into the next one, and then it just kind of gets off its path and won't get through. So Lumar clutches are a real pain to reeve, but this little trick with the wire makes it possible. So you just enter here, and then you just make sure that you get both little legs going right through the holes. So when you get a few in, kind of close it a bit so that way you can see in there better. Let's try to I pinch these legs a little closer together. Try it again here. So they're almost all through. You can see both legs popping out and then coming out of the exit. Now at this point you might think you're done. All you have to do is pull here and it'll come through. And a little bit, that kind of gets stuck. Ooh, this one went through easily. If it won't go through too easily, channel locks. Just grab onto the wire, pull really hard, you have a nice large lever to grab onto. But this one was quite cooperative. So then you'll just need to pull it all the way through and get ready to do the next one in the exact same fashion. A really good knot for clutches, instead of doing a figure eight, which is quite simple, you just pass it along your knot. It works, but you can see it's kind of off kilter and they end up getting kind of wonky looking. Uh, and the other issue is they can accidentally come untied. They're pretty easy to untie. So another knot that offers more balk than a figure eight. Is if you look at a figure eight, not too much balk added to the line. So if the line's kind of small 
and the figure eight is close to fitting through the shiv that you don't want it to fit through, it might pass and then you have problems. So an, uh, an alternative knot is the triple fisherman knot. So to tie the triple fisherman, you grab the line, put your thumb next to it, and you just wrap your thumb three times. And you pull your thumb out, and you put the line into the hole that your thumb made and pull. Now this stop knot doesn't come untied too easily and it's a lot bulkier. So you can see the line, it's just so much bigger than the line. If you do a figure eight next to it just for comparison's sake, you can see how it's much more massive compared to the figure eight. Now, the figure eight is easy to untie, which can lead to accidental untying, and the fisherman knot isn't the easiest to accidentally untie, but it can be done. So what you do is you have two sides to the fisherman knot. So you have the one with the little X, and then the one that is just three bars. So with the three bar side, you just pull it open. That's it. And when you pull it open, then you can work it and pull out the tail. And then you can pull the tail out the next one, and then it's off. So it can be untied, it will not accidentally untie. So once again, let's just go over the tying it. You just hold the line, tail's here, you just put your thumb, and you wrap your thumb three times. That's it. And you push this line through, and you pull. Thanks so much for watching and we hope that you will like this video and subscribe to our channel for uh, updates on our adventures. And when you subscribe, make sure you click on the little bell. That way you'll get notifications as soon as the next video is uploaded. Thank you so much!